sometimes when you are thumbing through old electronics books and this is one of them it is an or in originally a uh, German book translated into the Netherlands anyway um, and they show here a precision potentiometer and that is of course very interesting precision potentiometer for reference voltages that's the um, translation and here is the circuit the, the text is of course Dutch but you when you know a little bit about electronics you can surely understand it there are two potentiometers here voltage in voltage out and there is uh, between these two potentiometers, between the wipers, another potentiometer. And that is responsible, of course, the three of them are responsible for that very precise um, way that you can set the output voltage. Even as good as a uh, one millivolt. And this is, say, the... the schematic of course I have uh, copied it from this book and here is it again uh, potentiometer 1, potentiometer 2, potentiometer 3 um, I did not test the values I will try to test that in the future because I need for this circuit such a precision potentiometer now it is here only 4K7, but when we look at the scope and look, say, at the oscillation frequencies, that potentiometer uh, does its job, but it is, does its job very, very coarse. So with a tiny movement on the carbon layer of this potentiometer, uh, the output um, frequency jumps suddenly to say two kilo cycles higher or lower and that means that I need here a pro precision potentiometer and this is the solution for that so it's a pearl that you can find uh, what is the output voltage well I've made the translation the output voltage is part of the sum of voltage one that's here um, and that part of the voltage difference between V1 and V2, that's here and here, realized by the position of the wiper of potentiometer 3. Anyway, I did not test it at the moment. I'm going to test it in the future, but I think this is a brilliant idea uh, to make a precision potentiometer for a certain application, could be for any application, say for audio and in this case for this um, uh, oscillator, square wave oscillator. So that was all to tell, thanks for watching. I'm absolutely sure that this will work very okay. The values that I indicate here are not tested but for a first experiment, I think these are good values. 10k here, 10k here, 100k here. Uh, connect here a, a voltage source, measure here the output voltage and look uh, how precise you can set the output voltage. It must be in the order of one millivolt, that is one thousandth of a volt. And um, uh, the book tells us here that the value here, this one, R3, potentiometer 3, must be substantially higher compared to the value of potentiometer 1 and potentiometer 2. That was all to tell. Thanks for watching. I think it's very, very useful.